Hello learners, hope you are doing well. So this is the video solutions to the computational thinking week 10 graded assignments. So let's go forward. So consider the definition of the object data type class average. Class average has two private fields that is the A value and the mark list and it has a private procedure which is find average that does not return anything but just calculates the average value or the, pardon me the average marks of the entire mark list then we have three private procedures uh, pardon me public procedures uh, one is the initialize that initializes the value a value from negative one and mark list to an empty list then you have add mark which takes one parameter that is the mark your mark is in that you want to add to the mark list and it again initializes a value to negative one because when you add a new mark and you want to then you want to again uh, compute the average so for computation we need to reset the value of a1 to uh, a value to negative one and then afterwards we add or append the mark to this mark list now there is the last procedure it's a public procedure that is is above average and again it takes mark as one of the parameters and we see that if a value is negative one so this is the reason that we initialize a value as negative one so then when we try to compute this above average which returns to us uh, let's see what returns to us uh, we want to check if the average has already been computed or do we want to start the computation of the average from scratch so if it is negative one then we use this private procedure that is find average and find the average but if it is already having some value say something like uh, 78 so if it's already there then it ignores this if statement and then moves to this if statement and it checks if a value is less than mark which means if the mark of this person is above the average marks of the class then it returns true. Now once it returns true we know that this entire procedure is ended and if the mark is not greater than the average value then we return false. And uh, those are the procedures and the fields that we see in this uh, particular state uh, in this particular pseudocode. Now let's look at the question. The question question number one that is states that CA can be uh, CA be a class average object so that means CA is an object data type of this class class average so we have to choose the correct statements based on the definition of class average so here we see that it's a multiple select question so they can be more than one correct answers so first option is that we can add a list of marks to the students in a single call of the procedure add mark. So in a single call means they expect that if we just call this uh, procedure add mark that it's going to add some mark to us. So maybe if we say add mark 78 and then they expect us that this should add the mark to mark list. But we know that in a class if you want to you know access or uh, access some of the procedures inside the class and mind you if it's only a public procedure we can only access it using the object so it should be always ca dot add mark you cannot simply call add mark and expect the uh, procedure to add the marks to the mark list or whatever procedure has to be done cannot be done using this uh, single call of the procedure so this option is incorrect then the next option is that the procedure find average does not return any value it computes average and stores the value in a value yes that is correct because we see that find average does not have anything to return all it does is it initializes sum to zero and then goes through the mark list and appends the value of sum based on all the marks in the mark list uh, and at the end of this for each loop we take the length of mark list which is which will be the total number of students and we uh, take sum and divide these two values uh, 
and that gives you the average a value so that's all it does it doesn't compute anything so which means that this is one of the correct answers so since it's a multiple select question let's move forward and check if any of the other answers um, are correct so the third option we see that the procedure is above average returns the average marks in the mark list so you can see that the uh, procedure is above average it takes one parameter that is mark and it initialize and if a value was initialized to negative one it finds the average and it checks if the marks of the student that we want to find is greater than the average value if it is it returns true else false so we see that it's not returning to us any of the marks it only returns either of one boolean values that is true or false so which means that the third option is also incorrect the fourth option it states that the procedure add mark also computes average so again we can see that add mark does not compute anything all it does is it appends the marks that is given to it to the mark list so again this is also incorrect uh, and the fifth option we see that we can find the average of marks by calling the procedure ca.findAverage so again this ca.findAverage or find average a procedure is actually a private procedure so uh, there is no way that we can call this procedure directly using uh, using the object because uh, think of it like a bank account where there is a private field called your balance so imagine if someone could just access the balance and then add two three more zeros to their account i mean wouldn't that be great but it's not possible because uh, those fields are kept private those procedures some procedures are kept private so that um, the outside world cannot access that and it can only be used through the computations in the class so again this option is also incorrect uh, then we see the last option is ca.a value and ca.mark list cannot be updated directly yes that is correct because we see that a value and mark list are both private fields and in order to do any sort of computation on them we cannot call them directly we can only use them in our public procedures like uh, mark list just is initialized here you can append to the mark list but you cannot directly do anything to the mark list you can only call it through the public procedure that is given here and uh, the a value can be only computed, use, computed using this uh, find average that's where we compute a value so as a user you cannot um, you cannot append anything to mark list or you cannot edit the value of a value so that means this option was actually correct so you have two correct answers in this question that is option number two and option number six and as usual the uh, the question is given in words the answer is given in words so that learners can understand and uh, further their understanding of this concept so that is the end of question number one moving on to question number two let m av and p av be the objects of class average the following pseudo code is executed using the scores table what will be the value of c or uh, apart me what will the value of c represent at the end of execution so initially we have taken mav and pf and we have initialized it to an empty list so we know that what it initialized does is it takes a value and resets it to minus 1 and then it takes mark list and it makes it into an empty list so this is what initialized us in the first uh, first iteration now we see that while table 1 has more rows we read the first row x in table 1 and then as usual we take do this add mark and then add the mathematics marks to this object uh, of mav and uh, pav it takes the physics marks so basically you have an object called mav or mathematics average 
and physics average and both of them are initially an empty list there is a mark list here and there is a mark list here so what does it do it whenever this mav object is called it takes the mathematics marks and appends it to this list so let's say 90 85 then there is a 72 etc and then there is also another object called pav or the physics average and what it does is it only appends the physics marks so maybe uh, 84 93 75 etc so at the end of execution you have the mark list under this object and another mark list under this object and the one under mav will contain the mathematics marks and the one under pf will, con uh, will contain all the physics marks now once this while loop is done we then take a variable c initialize it to zero and then we run all your all our computations on table two because we see that from table 1 we have moved all x to table 2 and now we for do the further computations we have to go into table 2 and then we read the first row x in table 2 and here here what we do is we check that if your mathematics marks is not above average which means we know that is above average all it does is uh, the procedure is above average all it does is it checks if your a value that is the average value is it less than mark the current mark that you're putting so sometimes it is x dot mathematics sometimes it's x dot physics whichever mark it is you check if it is greater than or less than a value if it is less or if mark is greater than a value then you return true if not you return false so what does it check here it checks if not mav is above average so it is basically checking now you see that if this person's mathematics marks was below average what would it return it would return us false and what does not do it inverts whatever value you have gotten within it so the opposite of false will obviously be true and we know that we can only enter an if statement if the value inside it or the condition inside it is true so this if not false what it does is it it inverts the value of false and if only if that becomes true can we enter that if statement so that means if not mav is above average means we are checking if the average in math or this person's mark marks mathematics marks was below average only then we enter this if statement and when we enter this if statement we check if the physics marks was above average so only if the physics marks is above average will this return true and we can enter this if statement and then we append the value or increment the value of c by 1 and then we move this x to take back to table 1 so the bulk of code is basically happening here where it actually checks if a student if they have marks at least or pardon me at most the average marks in mathematics so why am I saying at most because the marks should be lesser than or equal to lesser than the average of the match marks and it should be the physics marks should be more than more than the average physics marks so from our options we can see that option number one states the number of students whose mathematics marks are at most the average of the mathematics marks so at most means that this person's marks should be less than or equal to the average marks in mathematics so that's what at most means and the physics marks is more than the average of the physics marks yes because 
we know that if the physics marks is above average it is definitely more than the average of physics marks so we can see that directly option number one is the correct answer and uh, again we have given this in words so the learn learners can understand uh, so that is the end of question number two